Hi, welcome to Big Data Analytics Tutorial. In this video, I will discuss what is business intelligence. These are the contents of my presentation. So first I will discuss what is uh, business intelligence, that is BI. Next we will discuss uh, business intelligence data mining uh, life cycle, that is BIDM life cycle. And later we will discuss what are the different uh, decision types we have and then uh, we will take some different uh, simple examples to understand those uh, decision types. So what is uh, business intelligence? Business intelligence is an umbrella term uh, that includes a variety of IT applications that are used to analyze an organization's data and communicate the information to uh, relevant users. So it's an umbrella term, it's, it's a big term. Uh, it includes a lot of uh, IT application tools uh, like uh, it starts from uh, gathering data, collecting data and then uh, uh, once the data is collected the data has to be stored into some uh, state it may be in, in a relational database management system or it may be in a data warehouse so that data has to be stored so that's the next second tool we need after that uh, there is something called as uh, the data mining tools comes into picture so an that's another uh, IT application uh, where we analyze the collected data and then uh, the collected data uh, once the data is uh, analyzed, you will get some insights about that particular business. So uh, that insight is nothing but the intelligence. We can use that particular uh, intelligence to improve the business. So that is how actually it works. So if you look at this particular business intelligence term, uh, it, it includes a lot of uh, IT tools. Okay, It is not that one IT tool. It's, it's a combination of uh, different uh, IT application tools. This is uh, uh, an example of uh, how different uh, IT business um, uh, intelligence tools look like. Um, these are some of the, you can say that uh, most widely used business intelligence tools in the market. So first one you can see here is a look, Looker, uh, QuickSense, uh, Demo, Microsoft BI and here we have IBM, there is something called as a Bold and there is something called as uh, SAP and so on. So these are some of the important or you can say that most widely used uh, business intelligence uh, tools in the market. Uh, we usually use these things uh, uh, to do our uh, analysis of our business and then uh, uh, the, depending on the insights from that particular business we can improve the business. So that's what the main intention here. Now, uh, it is not like uh, this is only one tool, as I said earlier, it's a business intelligence tools, but it contains different uh, diff IT applications, uh, collecting data, storing data, analyzing it, and then once the analysis is available, we need to visualize that particular results and so on. So all those particular tools will be present in these uh, tools. So this is just an example how uh, uh, the business intelligence tools look like. Uh, if you look at this particular thing, you can see here. Uh, so what is the revenue you are getting from different uh, places? So this is how actually you will be able to see the dashboard, one simple dashboard. Uh, you are getting any revenue from Australia so and so, Canada so and so, and USA so and so. Depending on this particular thing, you can analyze, uh, can identify what kind of uh, business uh, is growing in what area and so on. And here you can see that what are the key influence uh, uh, features of for your business what are the top segments over here sometimes you will get uh, uh, w what is the or the maximum product sold uh, sold uh, on on what day on what month and so on so if you go with over here on uh, february 2013 uh, so and so things has happened so this is a sales assessment data and such, such kind of information you will get so depending on this particular data you can analyze uh, what is good about your organization what is bad about your organization or a business and you can take some uh, actions over there so this is how actually the business intelligence tools look like uh, this is uh, the business intelligence uh, data mining uh, life cycle so everything starts here that's a business so when i say business it is not like uh, uh, it is related to a particular uh, domain a business means any business it may be a retail it may be a healthcare or it may be you can say that telecommunication or it may be a government organization or it may be anything okay so that is what you can say that uh, the business sometimes you can say that manufacturing is also a business so everything comes into this particular business and each and every business used to generate data okay so that data uh, is a value most valuable uh, thing uh, right now so in, in the earlier days the data was not at all used for uh, improving the business but nowadays this particular data is used to improve the business so that's the reason this is the most valuable uh, thing in the uh, in any uh, organization okay so once the business uh, generates the data 
that data has to be uh, can say that we need to get the uh, knowledge out of that particular data how can we do that one we can do that particular thing with the help of uh, data mining uh, tools so now uh, what we need to do is uh, first we need to apply some data mining techniques and then get knowledge out of it so and use that particular knowledge that is nothing but the intelligence we are getting the knowledge that knowledge is nothing but the intelligence use that particular intelligence to improve the business so that is how actually this particular life cycle looks like now you have improved the business again it will generate some data so that data will go to mining again you will get some knowledge that knowledge will be given as input to business again business will be improved and so on this will be a continuous cycle it is not a one day or two day it has to be done on a regular basis it should be done uh, continuously so that we can improve the business so this is how actually uh, the bidm cycle uh, looks like so it starts as business business uh, generates data the data is given as an input to data mining techniques so that we will get some knowledge using that particular knowledge that's the intelligence uh, we can improve the business over here and then once the business is improved we get uh, new data again uh, we need to get the knowledge out of it improve the business and so on the same thing has to be repeated continuously so this is the bidm life cycle here uh, the nature of the uh, life or any business is to grow so that is what actually the thing so the nature of any business is to grow there is uh, nothing like uh, i don't want there is no business uh, like uh, i don't want to uh, improve my business uh, any business has to be improved so that is how actually the nature is all about and uh, information in in nowadays information is uh, the life of that particular business you can say the life blood of that particular business without information we cannot improve the business uh, without information we cannot improve the business in, in nowadays okay so that's not at all possible so what we can do is uh, we can gather the data and then uh, we need to use some techniques to understand uh, the data and then we need to predict what will happen in future depending on the past data and then uh, use that particular uh, information or the data uh, or the knowledge to improve or benefit uh, of that particular organization and so that we can grow in the uh, future so that is how actually it should happen so there are a lot of uh, techniques are there we will discuss those particular techniques at the later stage so for time being uh, there was something called as machine learning techniques are there statistical analysis is available so we can use all those particular techniques and then uh, we can understand the business once the business is uh, understood we can predict what will happen in future depending on that particular prediction uh, we can uh, improve the business so that is how actually it works now uh, one's own data can be the most effective teacher so once you collect your data and uh, depending on the nature of the data and uh, depending on the uh, results of analysis uh, you can uh, uh, do some different uh, you can say that modifications to your business if everything is going fine uh, we can continue the things but something is going in a negative direction we can improve that particular uh, negatives and then uh, we can grow in future so that is the reason we need to have bi that is a business intelligence tools so that we can collect the data we can analyze the data once we analyze the data uh, it may be positive or it may be negative or it may be anything so depending on the results we can uh, uh, decide what to do in the future and so on so that is how uh, we need we use this particular business intelligence tools in the uh, we can say that uh, industry now what are the different type of decisions we can take with the help of uh, business intelligence tools so there are two types of decisions we can take uh, one is called as uh, strategic decisions and another one is called as operational decisions so there are two types of decisions uh, one can make with the help of uh, business intelligence tools so what is uh, uh, strategic decision strategic decision is something like uh, the long term goal uh, like uh, uh, what should be the direction of the company after 5 years or where or where you want to reach uh, after 5 years so that is nothing but you can say that after 5 years or 10 years or something like that so uh, that is nothing but a strategic decision okay so decision which will uh, bring that particular company uh, to a certain level after certain days so that is nothing but a strategic decision okay uh, strategic decision making is making uh, is very difficult uh, because uh, it's very difficult what will happen in future but uh, uh, this is how actually the things will work so using business intelligence uh, what we can do is uh, what if analysis if i do this what will happen in future so depending on that kind of analysis uh, we can uh, decide what to do now so that we can grow to that particular level after you can say that 5 years or 10 years or something like that so that is nothing but uh, you can say that uh, strategic decision 
strategic decisions are uh, once again i'll tell you is a long term goal uh, we need to make some decisions uh, so that we can see our uh, business uh, after 5 years or 10 years or 15 years or something like that so such kind of decisions whatever you take those decisions are called as strategic decisions and uh, we can use something called as what if analysis in uh, business intelligence tool so that we can make some different scenarios we can understand if i do this what will happen if i do this what will happen if i do this what will happen and so on uh, we can do some analysis and then what works fine for your organization we can use it so that uh, we can grow uh, uh, in in future so that is how actually the uh, strategy decision used to be used to take next uh, type of decisions are something called as operational decisions so operational decisions are uh, the routine decisions you can say uh, or uh, tactical decisions focused on uh, developing uh, greater efficiency for example uh, these are day to day decisions uh, usually we used to take uh, not only day to day so you can say that uh, regular decision decisions uh, now we can uh, you can say that 10 am you have taken some decision you, it is not working fine 11 am you, you may take some different decisions so that is nothing but the operational decisions okay one simple example is uh, we you have a website and that particular website does not have sufficient features so what do we need to do my uh, competitor has a better website compared to us so definitely we need to modify that particular website so that uh, we can compete with the competitor so that is what a simple example of uh, operational decisions so in the morning you have made a decision like i want to sell this particular product at so and so price but after one hour hour you have felt that the product is be being sold like a uh, hot cake so i want to increase the price so that may be the case sometimes it may happen that you are trying to sell you are trying to sell a particular product but after one hour that particular product was no one is ready to buy that particular product in such case you need to reduce the price so such kind of things are called as operational decisions so operational decision can be made uh, more efficient using uh, analysis of uh, past data so depending on the past data we can make uh, the uh, the operational decisions very easily because yesterday what has happened uh, we can see that particular thing as a reference and then we can make decisions for today or tomorrow so what has happened previous week we can take that as a reference and then we can make a decisions uh, for today tomorrow and so on or we can make uh, we can take a uh, past one month data one year data or five years of data so that we can make uh, the decisions for tomorrow so that kind of uh, thing is called as operational decisions so uh, there are two types of decisions uh, one is called as uh, strategic decisions and another one is called as operational decisions both the decisions can be taken with the help of uh, business intelligence tools in this case so what we have done in this particular uh, small video is uh, we try to understand uh, what is business intelligence uh, what are the different uh, business intelligence tools are available in the market and uh, what are the different uh, types of uh, decisions we can make with the help of uh, business intelligence tools i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the bell icon for regular updates press the subscribe button for more videos thank you for watching